What's going on guys, it's Hi with the Upper Left USA and today I'm going to show you how to balance the Feiyu AK4000 electronic gimbal. When attempting to balance the Feiyu AK4000, there is four points of adjustments that you have to consider. First is the tilt motor, which tilts the camera. Second is the base plate that holds your camera. Third is the roll motor. And fourth is the panning motor. Once all four of these points are adjusted, you know that you did the job correctly and your gimbal is properly balanced when you're able to really move it in any position. And the gimbal and the camera will stay in place. It won't fall forward, backward, side to side or anything like that. It will realistically stay wherever you leave it. There will be some slight movement, like it will try to adjust itself a little bit. But all you need to worry about is the camera staying in the very near vicinity of where you leave it. So right now this particular camera setup is properly balanced so I'm just going to throw it out of whack, completely adjust everything to make it completely out of balance. And that's looking pretty good, I mean it's as out of balance as I can possibly get it just by moving everything. So the first step in balancing this gimbal is of course by attaching our camera to the gimbal itself. So you may or may not have noticed but I am using an Arca Swiss quick release adapter on the quick release plate that came with the AK4000 and I'm just doing this because all of my cameras use Arca Swiss plates so this just makes it easier for me. If you're not using a quick release adapter and just using the Manfrotto style plate that came with the Feiyu AK4000 just attach it directly to your camera. and slide it into the gimbal base. Lock it down and then we'll worry about this in a little bit. So when I balance a gimbal I personally like to have my camera as close to the tilting arm as possible. So to do this I'm just going to loosen this bottom screw that holds the base plate in place and slide my camera to the right as close to the tilting arm as possible. Then just lock it down and call it a day. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is actually bounce the roll motor and that's this back one right here. I personally like to do this first because I feel that it makes everything else easier with the roll motor balance. This doesn't flop side to side and it just makes balancing the pan and the base plate a lot easier. So the goal of balancing the roll motor and really any other motor is just to have it balanced on either side so that the camera stays level. With the roll motor the goal is to have this horizontal arm be parallel to the ground and essentially have this whole platform just sit parallel to the ground. So to do this all we have to do is loosen this screw on the roll motor and move this arm left to right side to side so that it's balanced on both sides and like I said it just sits parallel to the ground. And right here already is looking pretty good. So for the sake of demonstration let's just see what happens when we're off balance. Let's go a little bit to the right and as you can see it starts tilting to that side. If we go a little bit to the left it starts tilting left. And like I said it's just a balancing act. All you have to do is move side to side just get everything balanced out and from this point of view this is looking pretty good so all you have to do is lock it back down. Next let's move on to the tilt motor and the tilt axis. Like the rest of the adjustment points, this axis is just held in place by one screw and once we loosen that, this arm is able to move up and down freely. So to balance this axis, what we're trying to do is have the camera be able to just point directly upwards without falling forward, falling backward or anything like that. So again, like with the roll motor, just move this arm up and down until you get it balanced. If the arm moves too far up, the camera is going to fall backwards. If the arm moves too far down, it's going to fall forward. So let's just move this a little bit. And to me, that's looking pretty good, so I'm just going to lock this down. Now, the next thing we have to check is to see if we are able to move this camera pretty much anywhere on the tilt axis 
and it stays there. As you can see, if I move the camera forward, it still falls backward, and if I move it back, it just pretty much stays there. So, to adjust this, we have to move the base plate and the entire camera forward and backward. And again, it's just a bouncing act. We just have to move this base plate by releasing this little lock lever, push it forward, and the base plate moves back and forth. And now, like with everything else, just try to balance it. That's too far forward because it's falling forward. Too far backwards, it's falling backwards. And just try to find a happy medium like that. Too much, too much, too much. And that's looking good. So let's just lock this down. And now, as you can see, if I move my camera in pretty much any spot in terms of the tilt axis, it'll pretty much stay there. And that's how you know that you have the tilt axis and the base plate properly balanced. So to recap, we've balanced the roll motor, we've balanced the tilt motor, and we've balanced the base plate. So the last thing to do is to just balance the pan axis. This one is a little bit trickier because it requires you to have the entire gimbal, this handle, pretty much parallel to the ground. When you do this, this arm right here pretty much swings up and down and the goal again is to have it parallel to the ground like that. And again to adjust this axis it's pretty much like everything else that we've done. All we have to do is move this bar back and forth to find that happy medium so that this entire bar swings and stays parallel to the ground. If you're unable to hold the gimbal on the side and just adjust it like that, there is a few different ways that you can approach this. The easiest will probably to find a table or some sort of ledge to just hold this entire gimbal. Imagine this being a table. Just hold this thing on the edge of a table and as you can see, you can pretty much just rest the handle on it and this arm swings up and down. From there, just move the whole arm back and forth until it is balanced with the ground. As you can see, this is a little bit difficult. So, you can also just put it down, adjust it little by little. Move it back and forth just to see where it swings and with this it's a little bit tedious but it's one of those accesses that once you get it done you can pretty much just lock it down and it'll stay in place so once you get it balanced it should look something like this again the goal is just to have that arm parallel to the ground and that's it now our Feiyu AK4000 should be properly balanced again just double check by pretty much moving it in any spot and it stays there as it should and we are balanced. And that is how you balance the Feiyu AK4000. And if you're new to balancing these electronic gimbals, I know at first it can be a bit tedious as you're just moving incrementally a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, just to try to balance everything out. But balancing a gimbal is a skill and a skill worth having in a market that's so flooded with these electronic gimbals as more and more come out every year. I like to think of balancing a gimbal like riding a bike. Once you know how to ride one bicycle, it's pretty much the same act on another bicycle. And once you know how to balance one gimbal, it's very similar to another because they are all so similarly designed that you pretty much use the same skill no matter what gimbal you are using. So just stick with it and I promise it gets much easier over time as you balance your camera over and over and over again. You really develop these skills and really ingrain them in your mind. One upside though is if this is your first gimbal, it's a great gimbal to start with in terms of balancing as this is probably the easiest gimbal that I've ever had to balance. This may or may not be in my head, but I personally believe that the materials that this gimbal is made out of and the build quality really helps to make the entire balancing process a lot easier because with some of the gimbals that I've had in the past, the tension screws and everything was just a little bit off. So let's say for example, if I were to balance the roll axis and then I move on to the tilt axis, the roll axis becomes slightly unbalanced and then that just throws everything off. I just have to move back and forth and just makes everything more tedious, but that doesn't really happen with the Feiyu AK4000. It just seems like once I lock something down, it stays in place and that again makes everything a lot easier. 
I hope this video has helped you out, and if it did, give it a thumbs up, share it, comment down below with any questions that you may have on balancing your gimbal, and I'll do my best to help you out. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.